KC-9 VKV from Alpha Alpha 3 Delta Alpha. The Alpha Alpha 3 station, Alpha Alpha 3 station, come back with your call sign. Yes, good morning, it's Alpha Alpha 3 Delta Alpha, America America 3 District Attorney. My name here is Dave, Dog Able Victor Easy, we're in Westminster, Maryland. Uh, Westminster, Maryland is about uh, 30 Roger, Roger, Dave. Uh, sounding good this way. Uh, uh, I didn't get your location. Uh, what was the location? Westminster, Maryland. Westminster, Maryland. About uh, 40 miles due north of Washington, D.C. Uh, Roger that. We're sounding mighty good here. What you? What kind of power are you running? Uh, the uh, rig is an Icon uh, 7610. And uh, about uh, about a kilowatt uh, off of a uh, Mosley uh, uh, Pro 67B. Roger. Now, I'm not familiar with that antenna. What what kind of antenna is that? Well, it's one of the Mosley old guys. Uh, it's uh, a five band uh, uh, beam with a uh, two elements on 40. Uh, Roger, Roger. Now we are uh, right next door to Louisville, Kentucky. I don't know which way you may have that pointed, but uh, we are uh, just across the river from uh, Louisville. Roger. Roger. Uh, I'm uh, headed at uh, 291, which is uh, pretty much uh, due, well, a little bit north or west. I could go a little south, and maybe that would help, but uh, I'm not sure that uh, it would make a whole lot of difference. Uh, it's uh, it's a, a, a pretty good uh, antenna, but it's not exactly uh, what you'd call uh, uh, diamond sharp in terms of the uh, uh, maximum uh, power, uh, which is good, because I just do not it be too short, uh, sharp. But I'm interested in seeing how this sounds, uh, and I'll be looking for it on the uh, YouTube page you've been talking about. Sounds really neat. Uh, have you been doing this uh, kind of thing for a long time, or is this something new you started? Uh, I appreciate it anyway, and I uh, look forward to, uh, to seeing uh, how this sounds in the next day or two. Uh, KC9 VKV AA3 DA. Roger, Roger, Dave. Well, we've been running it uh, for about a year and a half now, somewhere around a year and a half. And uh, it, uh, we just recently started uh, kind of uh, uh, working on one frequency uh, on Friday uh, mornings, uh, which is this frequency, 7189. Uh, you know, before we were just uh, kind of hopping all over the place and, uh, you know, uh, finding different folks uh, uh, on the fly. So this way uh, we are at a standard position uh, and we try to operate uh, each Friday morning between uh, 1030 and noon or thereabouts uh, and it's been working out uh, pretty good uh, so uh, your uh, station uh, you know I wish we had uh, just a little bit better conditions uh, you were running uh, what like a kilowatt? Roger, about, about a kilowatt uh, the uh, expert 1KFA uh, and that's uh, about 1,200 Roger, well we do not have good conditions I I'm only catching you about uh, maybe 4 dB above my noise level. Uh, you should be, you know, easily at 12 or 15 dB above my noise level. Now I'm looking at uh, the output from my receiver, looking at the audio output from my receiver on a view meter. So when I talk dBs, I'm talking about, uh, you know, residual channel noise and uh, your modulation above that noise floor, uh, not an S meter reading. Roger, I have the RF uh, turned down quite a bit uh, in the front end uh, to uh, stay out of uh, AGC compression, Roger. Roger. Well, I just increased the mic gain uh, a little bit, and uh, if it helps, uh, fine. If, if not, uh, so be it. But uh, uh, the 1,200 watts, of course, is, or kilowatt is on peak, and so I, I doubt that uh, we're averaging that, but I, I would imagine it's about a kilowatt. And I typically have been getting into the Midwest pretty well. So uh, uh, and I just moved the antenna a little bit south, so we'll see how that sounds. But I appreciate the report, and uh, I wish it, uh, it, it could be better. Uh, 
here about a nine, a five over nine here, and the noise level is almost non-existent. So uh, we've got an advantage in that there's no noise here, uh, Jim. KC9 VKD A3DA. Roger. Now that uh, that last transmission, you were 10 dB above my noise level, so quite an improvement from before. I think part of that was conditions, but I think also uh, when you uh, cranked up your audio, I, I think that uh, made a big difference too. You might uh, double check on your ALC reading uh, to be sure that you're still within uh, uh, ALC specs. Uh, I usually run mine towards the uh, towards the max, but within the guidelines, but uh, towards towards max. Roger. Roger. Well, I'm, I'm about in the mid, mid range on the ALC, so uh, I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not driving it hard at all. Roger, Roger. You know, folks say that they're not running uh, compression, but uh, the ALC is a form of uh, limiting. <clears throat> so uh, you are actually, in effect, uh, uh, you know, running uh, limiting uh, in the audio, even though you're not in, on the compressor. Roger. Roger, Roger. Well, it's it, 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 these new digital rigs are, uh, are uh, kind of classy in that they've got all these different uh, adjustments that you can play with, and and uh, uh, at this point, uh, I'll just kind of as long as you can understand what I'm saying, I'm happy about it, and uh, I don't need to be uh, uh, busting a pile up or anything at a normal rag to, and I don't do much for. Uh, specifically hunting D DX for uh, uh, confirmations, but I, I'd like to talk to anybody anywhere and sit down and get to know them a while. So uh, that's, that's uh, the nature of, of my piece of the hobby, and uh, I just enjoy getting to know folks, learn about them, and uh, make, make a friend that uh, uh, we can check back with each other over time and, and share the fact that uh, we're experiencing one of the more exciting times of this planet, and uh, and uh, it recognizes the fact that, at least for myself, uh, I'm getting older every day, day and uh, looking forward to uh, seeing how things will work out as, as, as time goes by. So, uh, uh, don't claim to be an old guy, there's an awful lot of guys on band older than I am, but uh, I... I am retired, more or less. I got another company that I operate, but it's just more of a hobby. And uh, uh, and I'm 75, and uh, so I, I hope I've got a lot more time to operate. Maybe see the band uh, uh, openings come back up on the on the uh, uh, higher HF frequencies. So uh, I'll let you go back to uh, your group, your my group, and uh, look forward to talking with you again, Jim. KC9, DKV, AA3DA, Westminster, Maryland, sir. Roger, Roger, uh, Dave. Uh, sounding really good there, and uh, uh, we will be posting this in the next couple of days. So if you go to YouTube and do that, call it a search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. Uh, that'll bring it up, and uh, no, like I say, we will be uh, there somewhere on that page. It's hard to tell where YouTube is going to put you, but uh, we should be on that page uh, under my group, uh, today's date and the frequency. So three is up that way, and I think we finally got some good conditions there towards the end, Dave, uh, before we were kind of, uh, you know, suffering about a 40 dB fade from time to time. But I think we ended on a high note, so uh, you'll be able to hear your audio really good. Uh, three is that way. You have a Real good day, and this is KC9 VKV. Uh, pile up there, the Roger Nancy uh, Baker station. This is KC9 VKV. Thank you. 
Roger, call sign is uh, Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor. Name is Jim Juliet Indian Mike, and we're located uh, just across the river from Louisville, Kentucky. We're on the Indiana side of the mighty Ohio River, right at uh, Louisville. And uh, copying your signal uh, uh, somewhat up and down, uh, sometimes uh, b barely 4 dB above my noise, but uh, I think that last transmission you were up around uh, 7 or 8 dB above noise. Uh, today is not a, uh, necessarily a good day on uh, 40, although last week wasn't a good day on 40, and the week before that wasn't a good day on 40. So I'm beginning to wonder if uh, 40 meters has uh, something uh, against us, Roger, Roger. Roger Lee, now you did take a big fade there. I, I did catch something about something new, and then you kind of faded, uh, faded under my noise level after that. What was the new thing? Oh, you got a 7300. Oh, beautiful radio, man! I'm so glad for you. That is the uh, Ace Radio for the for the moment, Roger. Roger, yes, uh, I, that would be my uh, ideal radio, uh, although I, I am kind of uh, married to this uh, FT-990, older Yezu FT-990, man, I really love this radio, it's just so, uh, so, uh, so nice to operate and uh, so um, predictable <laughs> in a good way. Uh, frequency stability is just uh, unbelievable. You set it on the frequency, oh, 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 and you come back a week later and it will be oh, 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 so uh, can't, uh, can't beat that, Roger. Roger, Roger, Dave, uh, three is that away, sir, and uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, we did not have good conditions today, but uh, we do have some uh, high spots uh, in your transmission, so uh, if you uh, go to YouTube and do that call letter search, Kilo Charlie 9, Victor, Kilo Victor, uh, that will bring up the QSO VLOG page, and uh, we'll have it uh, entitled uh, My Group, uh, Today's Date, and uh, Frequency. So the pleasure's been on this end, Dave, three is to you. Catch you later. This is KC9, VKV.